All right, this girl did a really good job of producing a clutch of eggs. And now we gotta get some food into her. Hey guys, I'm Kai from Lucas Lane and Royals. Hope you're doing well. And you may have already guessed it, I am going to be feeding a couple animals in this video. And I also got a clutch of eggs that could potentially hold one or more world firsts. So like I said, I am going to be doing a couple feedings and these are crucial feedings, not just any ordinary feedings. They're crucial because the mothers have just laid their eggs and we got to get some nutrients and food back into the mom in order for her to recuperate. So I call them crucial feedings and that's the only reason I am doing a video on this. Um, I'm going to get the warning out of the way. When you see a bucket of frozen thawed rats, that's when the feeding is going to happen. So that is your cue to... Uh, jump away if you don't want to see any of the feedings. All right, so with that out of the way, I do want to tell you about this new clutch that I received. And the only reason I didn't film it is because I wasn't feeling that well. Um, just a side note, when you are sizing your collection um, to the point where you want to see what you can take care of, you want to take into consideration to size it so that you can take care of it, not on your best day, but on one of those not so great days. So in my case, I wasn't feeling that well but I still had to come down here and check all the animals, clean the animals, and of course, pull this female off of her clutch of eggs, get the eggs into the incubator to artificially incubate them. Uh, she did produce a nice clutch of eggs, no slugs, although there is one egg that is, uh, has very little veins or very weak veins, but we'll see how that works out. Sometimes they grow into a, a hatchling and other times that egg just deteriorates and falls apart so you got to get rid of it but i have it in the incubator for the time being so let me tell you about this pairing the female and i'll show you her in just a second is a red stripe calico female that's it just two codons red stripe and calico so here she is this is the red stripe calico you can see she's got nice white up the sides uh, this is the only animal in the entire collection that has calico. This is also the only animal in the collection in the entire collection that has uh, red stripe. So we got both in one animal, and I'm not very familiar with either one except obviously I can tell the calico from the white sides. And believe it or not, calico is actually a form of pietism. So you have just like albino, lavender albino, ultramel candy, toffee, monarch, those are all different forms of albinism, although only one of them is called albino. This one, uh, this is actually a form of piedism, although we have a morph called pied, piebald, but calico and sugar is actually a form of piedism where it shows white in certain areas where it lacks pigment. Um, and so, you know, we have pied. Pied actually shows up in a lot of different animals. Some people, when I show them a pied, they're like, oh, wow, that's so unique. And I just tell them, you've seen a black and white dog, right? Or you've seen a black and white cow or a brown and white. So then they're like, oh, okay. Yeah, that's pied. I didn't know that. But anyway, this is a pretty cool animal. And let me go ahead and put her away before she gets her head stuck in one of the, uh, the grow out racks. So again, I just want to show this off to you. Beautiful color. She is on the thin side, like I said, because she uh, gave me a clutch of eggs. But I'm going to put her back and let her let her chill out. And oh, by the way, the camera doesn't really pick it up, but she does have a red hue to her. And pretty much in all of these patterns, there is a goldish outline. Sometimes it's hard to see in some of the areas, uh, but I know near the tail end, we can show that off. Uh, especially like right there you can see a gold outline around all of them which is what really um, makes her unique in my opinion
and I really like getting the red stripe into the clown project. I also like to expand on the calico jean a little bit because I only have one in my entire collection. So I decided to pair her with, you may have guessed it, the pastel extreme jean clown male. That's the only visual clown male I have at the moment. So he went to her. Now I'm saying I could potentially hit a world's first because I don't think red stripe and extreme jean has ever been done before. So if you guys know or, or have heard of or seen that combo, please comment down below and let me know because I'm really curious and interested to find out what that actually looks like, what it actually does. But um, I might have a chance of seeing that for myself. Um, so the red stripe extreme jean that's going to be a pretty cool combination because the red stripe has a stripe down the back extreme also does some striping uh, cleans up the pattern a little bit and on top of that we get to add pastel and calico into the mix and all the babies are going to be 100 percent hat for clown so that's pretty exciting so the mom uh, like i said that's the red stripe calico that's the one that we're going to be feeding uh, in this video now she hasn't had any meals. She actually refused the first couple offers. Um, she did go wee in her tub, so there's a little bit of standing. I didn't want to clean her out. I didn't want to disturb her too much, but uh, we're going to try to feed her today. Quick pause to tell you about a new YouTube channel, and this one comes to us from across the pond in the UK. This is started by a duo, not a typical buddy-buddy duo or a father-son duo, but a mother and son duo. Oh God, I hope it's mother and son. And she is lovely. She's a lovely girl, aren't you? I just went ahead and rewatched a couple of their videos, and I think I heard the word mom mentioned a couple times. So I hope I'm right when I say they are a mom and son duo. This is KG Royals, and they are from the UK, so they speak with an accent and they use words like cheeky and bugger. So I'll leave their information down in the description below. Go ahead and hop over there and give them a watch. And while you're there, like and subscribe. So let me go ahead and thaw out a couple of frozen rats because we're going to be feeding two females that laid eggs. And I'm also going to grab a couple live rats just in case they refuse these frozen ones. So now it's the pied female's turn to take her first meal after laying those eggs. And if you remember from the last egg pulling video that I did, this girl gave me nine eggs. So as usual, I take a frozen thawed rat and this is an in-between wean to small size rat. Uh, it has been warmed up with hot water and I'm just dangling it in front of her, try to entice her to take the prey. As you can see, she's not really interested. So what I'm gonna do at this point is just leave the prey in the box. It could be the fact that I'm hovering around that's causing her to not want to eat it. So just leave it in there and I'll check back in about 20 to 30 minutes. So round one was a bust. She didn't take the frozen thawed rat, I ended up taking it out. So now what I'm doing is just trying a live rat. So this rat is a fairly small size and I was actually playing with it earlier. So it got super, super friendly. And when it went in, it just went straight to the snake and just kind of walked on top of it without any care. As you can see, this is a black hooded Dumbo ear rat. Just a couple mutations that are floating around in my rat colony. Pretty much the rat just kept walking all over the place and on top of the snake. Eventually the pied girl came to her senses and you can see she's starting to look around and flick her tongue. So let's just wait and see what happens. So 
so there you have it. In the case of the red striped calico female, I tried offering her a frozen thawed rat the day after she finished laying and she didn't take it. Then I waited a few days and I offered her another frozen thawed rat like you saw and she took it. If she didn't, I would have given her a live rat. And in the case of the pied female, for her first meal after laying those eggs, I tried offering her a frozen thawed rat like you saw. She didn't take it. I even left it in the tub for quite some time, came back and there, it was still there. So then I went directly to offering her a live rat. And this was a very young rat to minimize any chance of the rat biting the, biting the female. Also, the smaller the prey, the more enticing it is for a female who's just laid eggs because she is weak. Um, so a smaller prey uh, is more enticing because she knows she can pounce on it. And also the size means that she can eat it fairly quickly and not be susceptible to any predators eat it and then retrieve back to her hiding place. So that's it for this video. I hope it was informative. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel and you wanna be informed of future videos, make sure you're subscribed and hit that notification bell. As always, thanks for watching. Please share and I'll see you guys next time.